Hello, friends. Hello. Welcome to DI Wednesday. Wednesday afternoons when we get together and do a simple craft with items that you hopefully have at home. Very simple. We're just going to start out with some paper. And it can be white paper or colored paper, construction paper. Everyone has something. We're going to have a pencil, something to write with. And we're going to have a glue stick. You might need some scissors. And also, we're going to use cotton balls. So hopefully you have some cotton balls at home. And if you have something to color with, even better. All right. So let's get started. On our paper, we are going to draw the letter B. I bet most of you can make the letter B, and as close as you can get is just fine. All right. Maybe at this point would be a good time. We're going to draw some two big loopy ears on top of our letter B. Ooh, I think I might be able to guess what this will be. I got <laughs> one. What do you think? Another one? Any guesses? Mmm. The next thing we're going to do is put our pencil down and we're going to pick up our glue stick. Remember when we open our glue stick, we don't want to have it all the way out. Just a little will do. And we are going to draw on the letter B. And this is where we can use cotton balls. We're going to stick our cotton balls all down the line. You can keep on with yours. Oh, okay. While we do that, and I'm going to show, I have one that is already covered in cotton balls. I know some of you might not have cotton balls at home, but there are alternatives that you can use. Everybody's got something that in their house that they can use for this craft. I'll bet they can. Your mom might have some pretty tissue paper left over from gifts. Even Christmas, it doesn't matter. Any color will look pretty with this. I know this is something you might not have. But, in a pinch, I could use those on here instead of putting on my... Wow, that really works well. It does. Let me try some tissue paper and let's see how that looks. You could crumple it up, you could wrap it around your pencil. Let's see. But that's some nice color to it too. I mean, you can always color your cotton balls if you prefer a different color on them. For your creative types. <laughs> So if we had the letter B on a colored one and maybe didn't have marshmallows or cotton balls or tissue paper, maybe, just maybe, you have paint in the house. This is one, one more alternative. And I just happened to pull some paint out of the cupboard here. This is not jam. And it could be messy. But Can anybody guess what Miss Donna's favorite color might be? Okay. <laughs> I got the ears first. All right. And so what I'm going to do is you can take a, like a cotton swab, a Q-tip, and you could make little dots all along. Finished bees. Our finished, finished bees or finished bunnies. Okay. And I hope that you guys have fun time making your bunnies too. And maybe you'd like to snap a picture of them and send them out to us. Oh, we would love that. Yeah. Please do. All right. See, I say, see you next Wednesday. Happy Easter. <laughs> <laughs>